the National People's Congress Standing Committee has exercised its power to make an interpretation of Article 104. And I think it would be necessary to look at the interpretation from an objective manner. And in so doing, I think uh, one has to bear in mind several factors, if I may uh, put it very briefly. The first factor is the constitutional design of Hong Kong. Uh, you would appreciate that under both the constitutions of the People's Republic of China, as well as the basic law, the power is vested in the NPCSC to explain the legislation, including uh, national legislation such as the basic law. And also in Hong Kong, the basic law deals with various aspects, including, among others, judicial independence on the one hand, and the interpretation of the basic law by the Standing Committee of the People's Congress. So in other words, both judicial independence and interpretation can coexist, and they do coexist under our constitutional framework as housed in the basic law. Secondly, I think one also has to bear in mind the background leading to this uh, interpretation by the NPCSC. The third factor which I would invite uh, people to take into account is the contents of the interpretation. If one look at the interpretation, one would, be, uh, one would see that the explanation sets out the meaning of Article 104 in a broad sense. In, our, in other words, it sets out the principle. It is not case specific. Rather, it sets out the general principles as an aid to the interpretation or understanding of Article 104. And I repeat, it's not case specific. And lastly, I think um, you all would know that we have in the past have four interpretations made by the NPCSC. And each time the judiciary of Hong Kong remain independent, they remain professional, they remain strong. And speaking for myself, I have every confidence that after this interpretation by the NPCSC, the judiciary of Hong Kong and all our judicial officers would continue to defend the law, to uphold the rule of law, and discharge their judicial duty in an independent, fair, and impartial manner. In short, I have every confidence that our judiciary would continue to properly and professionally discharge their duties.